all time, international player of all time. Yeah. Uh, uh, Petrovic. 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 Very athletic in his ability to shoot the ball. He, he, he wasn't afraid. It's almost baffling to hear so many stories throughout the years where scrubs think they can trash talk Michael Jordan and expect things to go well. It almost never does. But this man right here was one of those rare guys to go at Jordan and actually back it up. Drazen Petrovic, aka the Mozart of basketball, was one of the best European basketball players of all time. For years, he dominated his competition over in Europe, particularly in Croatia, where he incredibly scored 112 points in a single game. And he would drop 40, 50, or even 60 points on a regular basis. He managed to win two EuroLeague championships, accomplishing just about everything imaginable overseas. So it was only natural for him to want to test his talent and skill in the greatest league in the world. He began his NBA career as a member of the Portland Trailblazers, and right away, it was a big shock for Drazen having to adjust to a foreign land such as America. America. But even more foreign to him was coming off the bench, which he never had to do his entire life. You see, Portland already had a full rotation of guards in the likes of Clyde Drexler, Terry Porter, and Danny Ainge. The Blazers did not believe that Petrovic had the quickness to play guard or the speed required for defense, so they only gave him one job. Just sit around the three-point line and wait for a pass to shoot the ball. They only utilized him as an outside threat, nothing else. And for Drazen, that wasn't really all that fun. He was used to creating his own shot, so after a very short stint in Portland, he wanted out of there, and the Trailblazers did not really want to put up a fight to keep him, so they traded him to the New Jersey Nets, and that's when he really got his chance to shine. All right, with that in mind, wide open three to win the game, NBA Finals Game 7. Anybody, not just today, including yourself, who are you picking? Uh, Drazen Petrovic. Sure. You mentioned Petrovic. I didn't expect you to say that. Not a lot of people know knew Drazen. He was the an hardest guy. I yeah. And the most frustrating guy I ever had to go against. That was mostly when he was with Portland. No, when he was, was with New Jersey. Sure. sure. Yeah. That's yeah. when he really made his yeah. claim to Post fame. Blazers. Yeah. yeah. He got traded from Portland yeah. and went to New Jersey and became an all-star and the best the best shooter I've ever played against. Yeah. People say his work ethic was similar to Michael Jordan's. He was determined to show the NBA world what he can do. And as soon as New Jersey inserted him in the starting lineup, he broke through and became one of the best shooting guards in the league. He went from averaging just seven points per game with the Blazers, all the way to 20 points per game almost instantly with the Nets. He never backed down from a challenge and feared nobody, including Michael Jordan. During a time when just about every player viewed him as a god, Drazen didn't care. None of that mattered to him. He was far from scared going up against Jordan and the Bulls. February 16th, 1991 was where he would play actual real minutes against the GOAT. But for him, it was just like any other game. Dishing the ball to his open teammates, displaying relentless effort, pestering the Bulls, and of course, was always a threat from outside. But just like the majority of players who tried to guard Jordan, he failed to stop him, and was right there to witness this layup that would immediately become iconic. MJ dropped 26 points, while Petro dropped a respectable 17 points. January 4th, 1992, he was back at it with his ridiculous energy. Makes the board. Chris Morris, they've got a three on one. Petrovic has emerged as a leader on this Nets team. Even creating his own shot, something that Portland wouldn't allow him to do very often. And just like the last game, the Bulls took the victory, but that didn't affect his effort. Running back to pick up Jordan, no matter what the scoreboard said, and ended the night with 16 points. One month later, February 11th, 1992, right out of the gate, Drazen attempted to shut down Mike, but unsurprisingly, was not really successful. <laughs> well, he did pretty well though, right? Yeah. First time, look at this alley oh, That's a guide goal. And I know you have great retention. If he makes these, you're in trouble. But that didn't stop him from also putting the ball in the basket. 
Nice draws and puts it all pretty big. He was running around like Steph Curry out there all night, making MJ work on the defensive end. At one point in the game, Drazen kept stealing the ball, really angering Michael, which led to Michael releasing some of that anger. Still it. Throughout the next two years, they gave the fans some highly entertaining battles. Petrovic trying to beat Jordan, now Pippen, he does, and what? Boy, when he gets an angle, Spencer, he understands. He could end up with 40. Jordan from deep. Oh. Anderson is there. The long lead, Petrovic. Scotty Pippen trying to feed Jordan. Denied by Petrovic. Six to go on the shot clock, Jordan for three! His second from three-point land! And one of their most memorable matchups came at the 1992 Olympic Games. Team USA versus Croatia for the gold medal. Nobody thought they had a chance, except for Drazen. I almost felt sorry for the other team. I, I knew that they knew they had no chance to beat us going in. You could see it in their eyes, you could see them walking on the court, you could see it in, in their, their body language, everything, except for one, and that was, uh, I thought Drazen Petrovic was the one unique person that uh, felt he had a chance um, and played like it. During the game, Jordan uttered these words to Petro, I'll drain one in your face, and he replied by saying, I'll do it too. Petrovic and he gets another three, so for them, he has scored eight consecutive points. He makes a steal on Jordan's pass. Jordan's pass was there. Petrovic again, another three. Drazen Petrovic rose to the occasion, outscoring everybody on the floor with 24 points. But in the end, the dream team was just too strong. Now, let's get into the very last duel they had between each other, and what an epic finale it was. March 2nd, 1993, Petrovic came out and started cooking, making the Bulls look foolish with his deadly pump fakes. That's the ball fake here. You shooters out there, watch him use the ball fake. Boom, and Scotty buys it. Now he gets his feet together and buries the shot. That's a defense. You're going to make him make that open shot. Jordan started this break by tipping the ball out, and Petrovic has eight points. Jordan only four early. Eventually, Drazen began to get under Michael's skin, and it was visibly clear that Michael was frustrated. One of the other two steps up. Petrovic, five of seven. Michael's the Chicago little, turnover. Michael's got a little frustrated right now. Petrovic is scoring at this point in time. He came off a nice screen, and you can see Michael was trying to take the challenge. He's chirping a little bit now. The steal by Petrovic. Drazen was not going to back down from MJ, getting physical with him when most people wouldn't dare. As always, MJ still did his thing. A little trash talk wasn't going to detour his confidence, and it was evident that Drazen was oozing with confidence as well, sending a message to Jordan that he will fight till the end. Although Jordan and the Bulls won every single matchup they had with the Nets, Petro made sure to always go down swinging. Even though Petrovic did not pose a real threat to Jordan when it came to competing for championships, he definitely was something to worry about. He was beginning to show promise that maybe he could be on MJ's level. Until suddenly, it all came to a tragic end. On June 7th, 1993, Drazen Petrovic died from a car crash in Germany. He was only 28 years old, just reaching his prime. The NBA and its players extend heartfelt condolences to his family and friends. Please join us in observing a moment of silence in memory of Drazen Petrovic. And here's what Jordan had to say, quote, It was a thrill to play against Drazen every time we competed. He competed with an aggressive attitude. He wasn't nervous. He came at me as hard as I came at him. So we've had some great battles in the past, and unfortunately, they were short battles. 
His legacy helped pave the way for European players to have more opportunities to showcase their abilities in the NBA. And his impact on the sport of basketball is still felt to this day. Did you feel any kind of legacy from Drazen Petrovic, the late great Drazen Petrovic, while you were at New Jersey? Oh, he was a legend. I mean, he was one of the first heroes to come over. And, and then on top of that, he had a lot of talent. And it was just unfortunate. Um, as life was, you know, cut short from the car accident. But he was a guy who played hard and uh, enjoyed the game of basketball. Did you ever play against Drazen Petrovic, the late great? I had to guard Drazen. That was not fun. He was no. an amazing player. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I would really appreciate it if you would hit the like button on this video. And make sure to subscribe if you haven't already.